सब्सक्राइब कीजिए एडवाइजिंग चैनल को और बेल आइकॉन दबाइए और भी एडुकेशनल वीडियोस के लिए माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास 12 वेलकम टू आवर चैनल एडुजिंग टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू द समरी ऑफ अ पोएम व्हिच इज टाइटल्ड एन एलिमेंट्री स्कूल classroom in a slum written by stephen spender which is prescribed in your book flamingo so before giving you the summary we should know something about the poet stephen spender was born on 28th february 1909 and he died on 16th july 1995 He was an English poet, novelist, and essayist who concentrated on themes of social injustice and the class struggle in his work. He was appointed the seventh poet laureate, consultant in poetry to the United States Library of Congress in 1965. So this was. the background about the poet now before some giving you the summary i would like to give you the theme of the poem so an elementary school classroom in a slum deals with the social injustice and class inequalities and attacks on the capitalistic economies in which the rich are becoming richer and even as more and more problems and miseries mire the lives of the poor they are devoid of any opportunity and have become prey to social injustice in this poem stephen spender demands equal opportunities for education for the poor and the under privileged so this is the theme of the poem now i am going in details the summary of the poem so the poem starts with a detailed description of the pathetic condition of the children who study in a school located in a slum these children are malnourished and they are sick the poet compares them with rootless weeds it seems as if their physical and mental growth had stopped they have no exposure to the real world these children are unkempt hungry weak and emaciated not only that they are bony and carry the legacy of poverty and diseases they are living in an environment of utter hopelessness they are given a glimpse of the outside world through the pictures hanging on their classrooms walls these seem to be totally meaningless to them the map on the wall proclaims a world which is vast and limitless but the world of these children is limited to the slum the pictures of shakespeare valleys buildings domes etc have no meaning for these slum children all these are out of context for them in the last stanza the poet urges the inspectors visitors and even the governors to realize their moral responsibility to these children they must do something to unshackle these children from the bond of poverty and ensure them equal rights and opportunities they should get good education and become part of the real world where they should be entitled to social equality so my dear student this was 
the summary of this poem and i hope if you will listen it twice or thrice putting headphones or earphones and in a very peaceful environment definitely you will know all about the poem in details so thank you keep on watching bye bye